guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today i'm back with another four outfits that i was inspired by my pinterest board to recreate using my own wardrobe <laughs> Out fall fashion is one of my favorites which I think it's a lot of people's favorites because it's just a lot of layering it's easy to look more fashionable in the fall than it is in like the summer and there's so many layers and accessories and textures and all of that so absolutely love it but Pinterest is my favorite place to go when I'm feeling maybe in a slump need some like I don't know some inspiration without the need to like buy because everything is styled so cute on new websites like clothing stores and stuff where it's easy to like get inspiration from a website that's selling you something versus somebody who's just wearing clothes that they have in their wardrobe. So I love Pinterest for that reason. So without further ado, let's jump in. I, like I said, I have four outfits, very jackets, very layers. We've got a couple textures, some sweaters, lots of colors that are like more fall related. So yeah, let's start with look number one. I love this. I love this like monotone, monotone, monochromatic. It's not mono. It's like tonal, okay, tonal. I always get those two words mixed up. We've got the gray sweater, the gray coat, the grayish pants, and then the pop of green shoe. I'm obsessed with this look. I think it's so cute. I also love her hair. It's so full and thick and just everything. And these roots, oh my God, every time I do my hair, it's a shame. In, in two weeks, in two weeks, this will be gone. <laughs> anyway, um, I think this outfit is so cute and I don't have the exact same, but I have very similar and I think I'm gonna be able to achieve this look and it's something that I would literally never do. But when I saw it, I was like, why? Why would I not do this? This is cute. So let's see how I do with look number one. Right. Look number one, we're going to change into like a gray, blackish sort of pants. I have these pants that were considered black back in the day. Um, they're kind of like a washed out black, slightly gray. Um, from Abercrombie. These are like their 90s straight, I believe. Um, we're gonna put these on with a dark gray sweater and then you know the drill, we'll accessorize. I actually have shorts on these. <laughs> I got home from my walk and this morning and I was like, I need to take off my top because I have to like wash my face and I don't want like crap all over my shirt and put makeup on and I don't wanna like pull it over my head so I just threw my robe on. But I left my <laughs> I left my little running shorts on or walking shorts on underneath. Let's be real, I don't run. Um, let's put these on. I'm in a blabbery mood today. Get ready. A lot of you gave me some reassurance and said that you like when I blubber, so thank you. I will continue. Okay. So we have these jeans. I have not worn these jeans in forever. I, the last couple times I've worn them, I've done like the cuff, cause so they still have like this little like thing. But these jeans are so really good. I feel like I kind of have fallen out of love with my um, Abercrombie 90s, just because I'm going for more of like a raw denim feel, like a real rigid denim. But every time I put them on, I'm like, uh, reminded. So I'm like struggling or like getting over a cold, I would say. And I really didn't get that bad. Arlo came home, he started a new school last week, so. We know the drill. You just come home with sicknesses and whatnot. So, tis the season. Um, my colors are a little bit different than hers, but I think we're still gonna get the job done. It's still gonna be cute. But anyway, so I briefly got it. Like I would say two days ago, I got it, um, and I felt like crap the first day, and just like let myself lean into it. Cause I don't know about you guys. The older I get, the more I'm just like, I can like push through my sickness, and it'll last for like a week or two, or I can just let my body just like have a complete day where I do nothing and I feel like it heals me a lot faster doing that so I literally did nothing on Tuesday and um yeah I thankfully have the, that flexibility to be able to do that realizing not many people do but I was very blessed to be able to do that um because Arlo's still getting it getting over it but I like have a little bit of a sore throat every morning when I wake up over the last couple days but I have this on the one so Anyway, I'm already loving this. I think this is really cute. I can't believe I haven't worn these jeans in forever. They're, just, they're really good. Okay, green sneaks. Hers are different, but I still think these will work. These are more, like, in my opinion, a spring green shoe than a dark green shoe. And I want all the colored sneakers, okay? I have to stop myself every day from buying a new pair of sneakers. I just want them all. And I can justify it because I will actually wear them. But, like, do I really need them? 
no but yes you know yes but no and it's like the older you get the more i feel like you can justify things like that i forget that i don't need to untie these put them on because they're just so easy to slip on the more i get older the more i can justify it because it's not like i grow out of these things like i'm gonna have them forever but will i wear them forever probably not i mean i wear them for a while anyway okay so base layer on really cute really good okay we're gonna throw on my little old navy coat and i mentioned that i hate long coats um in one of my previous videos because i hate driving with them and everyone was like well not everyone we were like just take it off and i'm like who has the time to like take their coat off i mean you do but like take your coat off and then put it back on i probably just wouldn't put it back on i don't know i'm just lazy i guess anyway um hers is a longer coat we've already assessed that i don't have super long coats but this is like as long as it gets i think this is actually bonus jonas okay it used to be bonus jonas when you would find like a bird's bees now we're finding summer friday um that's bomb oh i didn't fall that was awesome when is the last time i wore this oh, great day i don't know what i'm obsessed okay this outfit is so cute i think this turned out great i wish i had her full thick voluminous hair but we're working what we got okay some ankles, some days I think my hair looks so long and then other days I'm like, oh, is it ever going to grow? It's growing, clearly, <laughs> clearly it's growing. But I think this turned out so cute. I would say, I need to cut this tag off though. Why have I been walking around with this? I would say a black bag would look really cute with this. Do I own a black bag? Yes, I don't know why I always forget, but this is so adorable. I love this sort of tonal look. The jeans are darker, but I still think the pop of green is so cute, so. This was a win. I think we nailed this. I think it's really fun, really comfy, really cozy, and a great, a great fall staple. And you can obviously switch up everything, but just a good jeans and a sweater with a jacket. <laughs> a lot of, um, but a cool sneaker. Just it's everything. All right, let's move on to look number two. Okay, look number two. We've got the the infamous chore jacket barn coat whatever you want to call it i think it's adorable mine is not this light of a color i have more of like a darker color but i still think it'll get the job done and then she has these like black trouser wide leg pant type things i don't know with some sneakers we're gonna see how i do i'm not sure if we're gonna achieve that same look but i'm hoping so yeah i think this is really cute i love this girl i don't know who she is but i know her background every time i see her on pinterest i'm like ugh. Her. I love her outfit. So let's see how I do with look number two. Okay, look number two. I'm going to change into some black, like wide leg trousery type pants, I think, um, with a white tee, and then we'll accessorize. Okay, so I feel like if you're on TikTok, you've probably heard all about this like low contrast, medium contrast, high contrast makeup. And I feel as though I'm low contrast because. I only wear my makeup one way and it's always the same and I always feel like I look terrible if I put on like a bold lip or if I put on a bold lip I could pull off medium but not really um I don't know do you guys know what I mean by that like where if you have very subtle features you should wear your makeup very subtle but if you have like bold features dark features whatever you should um go a bit more extreme with your makeup to pop to make them pop and I just don't know if I have that, but I realized that I do my makeup the exact same way every single day. And I mean, I'll switch up blush colors and stuff like that, but I do the same like shadow liner, the same mascara, same pretty much everything. Um, and I used to be like, oh, it's kind of boring. I'm like a scrub, but then I'm like, but it works. It flatters my face, I think so. So her pants are slightly like, not cropped, but hit like at the top of the foot. So I have these ones from Halara that are like, oh my God, the most stretchy, comfiest trousers in the world and they have pockets. They feel like like leggings, like Lululemon Align leggings. <laughs> they're just in like pant trouser form. They're kind of wide leg and have a little bit of a kick out. So these are from, like I said, Halara. So we're gonna go with these and put on a white tee. Okay, so this morning I wake up to um, a message on my Instagram, like a DM from one of my old associates. Um, that I had when I worked for Abercrombie in Japan. And he sends me this like screenshot of this story of my ex-boyfriend that I also had when I was in Japan. And I hate when that door happens. Um, 
and it's like him with this like koala mattress situation. I don't know. And so I was just like, oh my god, I haven't seen him in literal years. But I just like remember like when we broke up and um, he did this like, if you guys have been bothering me for a long time, he did this like hate thing, like basically thinking that he was like exposing me and going to like ruin my, me on YouTube. I, I don't a mess. I wonder if I can still find the video. No, no one needs to look that up, okay? Anyway, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't, it's fine. Anyway, so um, he's very like artistic and emotional and in touch with all of his feelings, whatever. He was, he was a nice guy. It was fun, whatever. But like, no. Anyway, um, I broke up with him and um, he wrote this thing like basically, I think someone actually sent it to me. I don't even think he sent it to me but it was like him on this like white canvas. Like he was also, I say this in the nicest intentions, but he was um, an alcoholic, like without a doubt, just like very much that's how he dealt with his emotions and not a good situation. So he's like getting tanked during this whole process and he's half Australian, half Japanese. So drinking is also very much part of their culture. But anyway, um, he's like, drawing on this white canvas like first starts off like cheater and I'm like never cheated on you and like goes on and just like breaks all these horrible things about me like all on this canvas to make it look like a picture and I really can't remember the rest of it because I remember watching it waking up to like one of you guys like sending it to me and I was in Italy and I already broken up with him and I was with a different guy, but I had already broken up with him and it was a guy from my past, whatever. It doesn't matter. I never cheated on him, but he like did all this whole huge thing and <laughs> I was like devastated thinking like this was going to end me or whatever. And I was just like, now thinking back, I'm just like, Who? what? Who? No, absolutely not. But anyway, um, I got a glimpse of him today on a koala mattress commercial. So I hope he's well. I wish nothing but the best, I guess. I don't know besides that, that I literally had like heart palpitations while I was like, I remember waking up in Italy, like looking at this and being like, and everyone sending it to me like, oh, this is horrible and it's not true. And it was just like mortifying. But anyway, that's what I woke up to today. So I was like, yeah, cool, thanks. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I mean, I love my associate. He was the sweetest guy. He made me a face with my, my cake with my face on it, look, and <laughs> his family restaurant. He was great, but sending me that, I was just like, oh, that's fun. Anyway, if y'all remember, you remember. He also, I'll never forget. <laughs> I am somebody who, before leaving on a trip, needs to have my house spotless, like before I leave and then come back. So I, it was my 25th birthday? It was my 25th birthday, I think. And I, he couldn't go on out of town for work or whatever, and I just needed to be by myself. So I went to Hokkaido, I think, and went skiing, and just stayed in a hotel and just, just literally like let my brain rot for a minute, um, because I just needed to. So whatever, I flew to Hokkaido and Sapporo, anyway, um, and did that and skied by myself, whatever. And I come home and I like, I'm like coming into my door and I'm like, what the frick is that? What is, what is going on? I see like candles lit, whatever. And I see this like giant piece of um, paper in the middle of my floor with wine all over it. And he made it for me as like an artistic birthday present thing. But at first I was like, what the heck? Like I remember the video, like he, I think he posted a video of it, um, of making it and then of me reacting to it. And I remember just like being exhausted from traveling and then being like, why is my house, why is there wine spilled all over my floor? And he, I did not get it. That should have been my first sign that like we just weren't the same person. I mean, it was sweet. It had very strong meaning and all of that, but like that's, his love language is, is auti artistic, 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 and mine was, this is a mess. So anyway, <laughs> the more you know, 
Um, okay, so this is the look. Obviously her jacket is a lot lighter than mine, but I still think it works and I think it's fun with like the sneaker and these pants are just so comfy. I don't know what kind of pants she's wearing, but they are kind of, like I said, kind of a little bit cropped to show off the sneaker. It's like a big brown bag. I kind of want a new tote kind of thing, but anyway, her hair is up. So let's put her hair up. What do we think of foreign jackets? Are we fans of foreign jackets? Are we not? This is a good segue to stop talking about my ex. <laughs> Sorry, I wouldn't have if I didn't get that message this morning. And if I have half a brain, I'm going to text Nilani and send her the picture and be like, wow, he's doing well, I guess. I hope he's not watching and he just like brings my life to hell again. <laughs> not like, I don't know why I would always be so scared of people on the internet, but sometimes I would. I remember the guy that actually I left him to, and my college boyfriend, and then after Japan boyfriend. Um, his ex-girlfriend went psycho on me and told me she was going to ruin my career as well. And I'm like, yeah, that wasn't even my career. But regardless, what are you going to do? This reminds me of just like those moments in high school when you thought like the world was going to end or someone was going to like ruin your life or whatever. And it all felt in that moment like so dramatic and so like permanent that now when you look at things, you're just like, God, first of all, I hate when my, ch I hate that I'm going to have to go through that stuff with my child. It's like, hate it. Um, but yeah, anyway, it all seems so crazy and so permanent and so like, ugh, in the moment, but then you look back at it and you're like, why did I even give that a second of my thoughts? All right, look number three. Again, like I said, with the textures, the colors, we have a very, again, um, monochromatic look, but with a pop of a sneaker. So we've got the navy sweater, but like that silky satin pants that I recently got from Quince. I think this outfit's going to be so cute. So let's see how I do with this. I think... It's gonna look cute. I'm hoping it's not gonna get pajama, but I think, I think we're gonna nail this. Let's see how I do with look number three. Okay, satin PJ pants are on. She does not have anything popping out of her little navy sweater, so we are also not gonna do that. We're gonna see how it looks, because I wouldn't think it would look good, but we're gonna try. Also, huge news, we're going to um, the Netherlands in December, December 16th, because Scott's dad, is um getting indoctrinated and in, indoctrinated becoming a doctor <laughs> he's going through like his everything like he did his dissertation and he's being like graduating but like inducted i don't know into the world's oldest college in the netherlands i'm like so excited um and we told us about that this summer i like knew i wanted to go but like adulting is hard okay can we just talk about the fact that like it is so unfair that everything that has to happen at the end of the year like traveling if you have a family and you travel somewhere for christmas and then we have okay so it's it, this is december my birthday christmas scott's birthday but it's like we have to travel for christmas every year we've had to for the past like, i don't even know how many years <laughs> it's been nuts and then uh property taxes are due and it's just like how can't you pick a different pick summer for property taxes to be due not december or january whatever it's just horrible annoying rough okay i hate property taxes awful anyway we don't even have an expensive property so i can't even imagine these people with like expensive properties with expensive property taxes but when we moved to illinois we got screwed because we lost our like homestead exemption so that was fun so our taxes doubled because it went to like market value of the home instead of purchase value of the home but what else just boring adult stuff so we had to make the decision to not go to new york for christmas because this is like a once in a lifetime thing of scott's dad getting his doctorate and so we're like that makes sense to go there plus arlo and i did go there for christmas last year so my dad didn't think we were going this year but then i told him we were so now i have to tell him we're not again and why is that the scariest thing in the world <laughs> like i know he'll understand but like i just hate it i hate feeling like I'm letting people down or whatever and it's not just the money it is that's a big portion of it right because like it's just gonna be a lot because we have to pay for international tickets and all that and then also dealing with um Arlo and all that Arlo's not gonna come with us but uh and then we wanted to also do a trip to Mexico for Scott's birthday and it's just like why is every vacation you go on like multiple thousands of dollars Life is too expensive, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I told you I'm in a ranking mood. And these are the time that like I could have wore socks, but I didn't. But I think this honestly turned out cute. It looks fun and festive with this like sweater. 
Um, this is perfect. She has the cutest little like charm thingy on her phone. Do I need one of those? I don't know, but this is cute. I think this turned out really a lot better than I thought it would. And if you ended up getting these self pants um, from Quince or been on the fence, this is a cute way to wear it. Like, so it doesn't look like PJs. It's very monochromatic, but looks intentional and like chic, especially with these velvet <laughs> sneakers. But I don't think hers are velvet. But anyways, I think this is cute. So that was look number three. I can't see your face, but I think this turned out cute. And I honestly, this sweater is from Gap and it honestly hits so well like I like that I don't have to tuck everything in I'm slowly getting over that millennial thing to be like and we tuck <laughs> no we just leave we leave well enough alone let's move on to look number four all right and then we have look number four I recently picked up these boots and I love them and I've been wanting to find different ways to wear them and just be inspired I knew I loved them they're just a different piece for me and I'm not really a boot girl but I think the more I break them in the more I wear them I will fall in love with them so hopefully this outfit will give me some inspiration i have something very similar not the color same color jacket but same kind of style so let's see how i do with the fourth and final look we're gonna be styling the boots i'm excited okay so let's pop on my white levi's with a white tee and then we will accessorize also you guys i feel like my plants since we've moved here within the last like i don't know maybe a month or so have gotten like nap gnats like a gnat infestation and i have like probably over 20 plants for our teeny tiny little 1500 square feet townhome so like they're everywhere flying everywhere like drive me nuts i put out little fly trap things i have the zebo i put in like the bacteria that you're supposed to do to kill the gnats infestation and i don't know where they're coming from because like normally if they're infested you can just like hit it and you'll see them like scatter they're not in there they're breeding someplace I can't freaking figure it out speaking of breeding all right so <laughs> I have always been familiar with dream flies because we used to have them um when I worked at Abercrombie because we would have bathrooms that would just have like drains in the middle of the floor it was weird but that's just like what we had and so they would always just breed in there because I guess the water was like stagnant in there I don't know anyway we had them <laughs> in our bathroom like forever ago i'm talking probably when arlo was like a couple months old or it was like his first birthday it's right before his first birthday okay so anyway um we were like doing everything we can to try to kill these drain flies so i'm dumping stuff down the drain and i'm like doing all the stuff right and i vividly remember it was for for his first birthday because it was before my dad visited my dad was like do not dump boiling water down there because they're plastic pipes and you can really mess up the pipes i'm like okay got it after i had already dumped boiling water down there multiple times okay so i'm like treating these flies as if they're coming out of the drain because that's what they're called drain flies right so i'm like dealing with this can't figure it out like don't know what's going on like covering it in the middle of the night like doing all this stuff whatever and um one day i'm like in the shower with arlo because he was a baby and so like i would just take a shower with arlo like to quickly wash him if we didn't have the whole like to do of a bath um and i'm giving him to arlo and <laughs> i like move something because I'm like what is like all this like black rubber like little pieces of rubber in the in the bath and I'm like oh, Scott's about to give Arlo I'm about to give Scott I'm about to give Scott Arlo okay and I'm in the shower and we like move something in the shower like this thing that was like on the ground or whatever and realize they're worms I'm hurling okay so the gnat flies were not in our drain or gnat flies not gnat flies drain bugs whatever they were in the side of our wall because because the like ceiling had come loose like the sealant the seal and they were living in there so oh my god i'll never forget scott dumped bleach down the side of our wall and they all just started crawling okay disgusting right and so we sealed it and <laughs> I'll never forget when we came here to visit our tenant back in January or December, last December when um, we came for Christmas. We just wanted to make sure everything was good and we had to fix a couple things, whatever. And so we were like, hey, have you seen any like drain flies? Like, he's like, no, oh, everything's been fine. And we're like, okay, good. Cause you know, we had an issue and he's like, tell me about it. I'm like, you do not want to know. It was so gross, you guys. And so we had to like kill them and then seal them up. And it was like right before Scott's mom was like, going to watch 
Arlo for us. I think it was, I don't know. And so anyways, we were like, if you see bugs in our shower, please let us know. But I swear we're not dirty. We're just dealing with this. So anyway, I would kill them like hundreds of them every time I would take a shower, but I would never see them come out of the drain. And that's why, because they weren't coming out of the drain. They were coming from the sides of the wall. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Her pants are like, um, frayed at the ends and I don't have frayed white pants. I do with their like balloon pants. So I just, am cuffing these for the time being. And I think they're cute. My white shirt is different colored white than my pants. We're going with it. I'm trying to get back on track. I can't tell because blah, blah, blah. And then man alive with these hangers. Her jacket is black, but I think this green jacket will be perfection. It's kind of like a little um, quilted jacket. I love this jacket so much from Quince. And they just came out with a navy, and I'm contemplating getting the navy because it's so good. Okay, so this is pretty much it. She just has has it. She has a bag as well, which I could always put on. But guys, though, I'm just like not a bag person. Typically, if it's got pockets, I'm just gonna put my keys and phone in here, and we're gonna we're gonna mosey along. I'm just not a Mary Poppins bag kind of girl. I just never have been. So, here we go. Look number four, I think this turned out cute. I like these boots with white pants. I think they're adorable. I'm going to bring these camping this weekend to break them in and get them like kind of roughed and tussled, which I'm excited about. Um, so hopefully I'll wear them more often, but I'm always trying to find ways, because they're expensive, I'm trying to find ways where I can justify them hiking and outdoorsy, but also in like cute outfits. So, I think we nailed it. I love it. All right, that was it. That wraps up my four Pinterest outfits. What do we think? How'd I do? What was your favorite outfit? I always love to know what your favorite outfit was in the comments down below. I don't know, it's just fun to hear what you guys think because I always have my favorite outfits, of course. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. As always, these videos are here to inspire you to shop your own wardrobe, really find your own personal style, and Pinterest should be a fun way to get inspiration for using what you already have slash finding gaps in your wardrobe as well. Like if you have pieces that you're like constantly drawn to, it's an easy way to kind of fill in the blank and, and add that to your wish list of things that you want to purchase. So. I have loved doing these. I feel like these help me fall in love with my wardrobe and find pieces that maybe I haven't pulled out in a while and are in my daily rotation. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next one very, very soon.